We are deep into Wimbledon at this point, anxiously awaiting the results. So until then, let's discuss a few fun things that have happened thus far in good old SW19. First, Wimbledon is the only Grand Slam tournament that has an extremely strict dress code. The rules state that all players must be dressed almost entirely in white. Umpires can even ask a player to change if they don't meet the dress code. For example, in 2013, tennis champ Roger Federer was told that he needed to switch his shoes for his next match because they had orange soles. Well, this year we had quite the wardrobe debacle thanks to Nike. Nike's premier slam dress for this year was sent back to the cutting boards for being too revealing. <gasps> the dress was initially approved because it complied with the color regulations, but oops, the All England Club was so focused on the color that they failed to recognize that the dress was going to be a peep show all match long. Or did they? I mean, you never know. Maybe these conservative old chaps were just trying to spice the tournament up a bit, you know, accidentally. Oopsie. Although the dresses were recalled and fixed, it was a little late for a few of our WTA players. Sorry, ladies. Is it too late now to say sorry? Second, oh, Brexit! The controversial British exit of the European Union is not thrilling for our Wimbledon players' pocketbooks. This year's Wimbledon champions will receive a record two million pounds in prize money. But thanks to Brexit, the value of that award has already taken a substantial hit. The British pound plummeted nearly 10%. One day the winner's pot was worth a little over $3 million, and the next day $275,000 had been chomped off that bit. Even though Wimbledon increased its prize money this year, the winners stand to take home $60,000 less than last year's champions. Third, let's talk about Cartman. Respect my daughter. You heard me, Cartman. But, no, 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 not that politically incorrect little character from South Park. I'm talking about 25-year-old British tennis player Marcus Willis. Willis had been given the nickname Cartman due to his dad bod-esque physique, meow. And to top it off, Willis was ranked 772nd in the world, had made a mere $290 on the tennis court in 2016, and has had to continue living at home with his parents due to not making enough income. Well, now we can perhaps see Willis's face listed in Webster's Dictionary under the phrase, Dark Horse. In the first round of Wimbledon, Willis pulled off one of the biggest upsets in tennis history when he mowed over world number 54, Ricardus Barrancas, in straight sets. Marcus Willis has produced one of the most amazing performances here after coming through six qualifying rounds in this, his very first match in a Grand Slam. And look what it means to him and everybody else who's been supporting him here. A sensational performance. The rackets on the ground. The guys in the corner have been singing their hearts out for him all the way through the match, jumping up into the crowd. This win secured Willis about $65,000 in prize money. Holy cow, he might actually be able to move out of mommy and daddy's now. All joking aside, after the Brexit vote and England's loss to Iceland at the European Championships, Willis has out of nowhere become the light in a dark tunnel for his country. Nice work, buddy. Now, don't you be a one-hit wonder. Yo, VIP. Let's kick.